In the beginning, there was nothing. A nerd said, let there be a way to share terrible looking web pages ah! with other nerds around the world. Then they created the internet, web browsers, and a screechy plastic box that connected it all together. Life was good. A few original websites quickly snowballed to cover many popular topics. There were even inline images that only took two minutes to load. To display the static HTML pages, new browsers came and new browsers went. One of those bundled away to run code on the web page itself. At the start, JavaScript only had a few use cases, but eventually it spread to become an integral part of the internet. Anything on a web page that changed dynamically, well that was JavaScript. Liking, commenting and following were born. Life was good again. Then some enthusiasts wondered why JavaScript couldn't be used on the server side too. They built an entirely new JavaScript runtime environment and called it Node.js. Now JavaScript was free of the browser and you could write front and back end code in one language. Only problem, there was no way to reuse JavaScript code. If I wrote a library to predict whether a YouTube video would get more than 100 views, how could I share it? Without solving that, Node.js wouldn't be useful in the real world. So NPM was born. It was a way to upload versioned JavaScript packages to a shared repository, and a way to reuse those packages in any JavaScript project you wanted. Node.js and NPM were a perfect match. Many big companies migrated their backends to this new ecosystem. The NPM registry grew to hundreds of thousands of packages. Any JavaScript you needed to kick some server-side ass was available. Life was good again. But Node.js and NPM were still relatively small players. A single backend technology in a sea of many. Eventually NPM would grow beyond the server side until today, when without it, a large part of the internet would just go <sighs> So how did the world become so reliant on something as seemingly obscure as a Node package manager? While some developers were busy writing JavaScript on the back end, others obsessed over how to improve the front end user experience. New front end frameworks came and went. The ones with the coolest sounding names remained, and soon every website was a single page application with JavaScript at its core. With the amount of JavaScript needed to power these applications, their teams turned to NPM. Not only did NPM allow reuse of existing JavaScript code, but it was so flexible that it could be used as an entire build tool. It offered a customizable CLI that with a few keystrokes could initialize a new project, start a web server, or build a deployable for production. NPM made developing rich front-end applications straightforward. Eventually it became a tool more popular for front-end than back-end development. The Node Package Manager had evolved into a more general JavaScript Package Manager, and JavaScript's usage spread even wider to mobile development, gaming, and serverless technology. Almost anything you do on the internet has JavaScript software running at some level, all built and run using a few simple NPM commands. And I say cheers to that.